Hey everybody, it's Jessica here on Jessica Smith TV. Welcome to another episode. Today's workout is all about the apple-shaped workout program. So we are focusing on excess weight in the belly area. Now remember that you cannot spot reduce, so make sure that you're pairing all of your workouts with a healthy diet. What we're gonna do today is exercises that really focus on strengthening the core muscles around your waistline, which can help pull everything in. We're also gonna keep your heart rate up for more of a calorie burn, and we're gonna be doing strength training to help boost your lean muscle mass, which can help raise your metabolism, help you burn fat around the clock. So if you're ready, let's get started. We're gonna, I'm gonna use a pair of five pound hand weights. You use whatever works best for you during the movements. We're just starting off warming up here. Hopefully you've been walking with me in place this entire time. Good, so we're just gonna start off with an alternating heel dig from corner to corner. So right off the bat, let's think about engaging the abs. Pull your belly button into your spine. You're gonna bring your elbows in tight, making two fists, and keeping that heel dig, just give me a little cross punch with your opposite arm. So getting that little rotation going, drawing in at our waistline, as we start to gradually just warm up the body here, getting ready for the work ahead. Nice, good. So we're not gonna do a ton of cardio specific intervals today because I want you to pair this workout with our HIT cardio and core routine. So that's where you're gonna focus on core. Today is gonna be more about strength training, but we'll still move you at a cardio pace so you'll also get a little cardio effect today too. Good guys, okay, so from here, let's steady the feet and just go into a little squat. Make sure your knees and toes are now facing forward. You're gonna sit back into your hips. So like you're reaching back for a chair. Good, let's clasp the hands together. We're just gonna take a little cross chop down into the center, other side. So extend the arms as you sit back into your hips, just taking the hands just outside of the thigh here. Sit back and up, that's it. Good. Now, raising the heart rate, getting even warmer, let's take the arms all the way up in the center. So those arms stay extended, it's down and up. Sit back in your hips, reach it up tall. Good, nice, almost there, four more. Good, three, nice, last two. You got it, one more. Great job. Let's go get those hand weights and get started. So we're gonna begin by stepping back into an alternating rear lunge, using the curls, doing a little bit of a chop, what I call a little shovel scoop. So you're gonna stand with your feet together. You're gonna keep those arms curled in. I want you to step back and you're gonna scoop the arms to the outside of your front thigh, come back up and hold, reverse it. Step back to your lunge, scoop the arms to the outside of the front thigh, stand up, do it with me again slow. Down and up. So I'm keeping the weights about one hand distance apart from each other. Good, let's take it faster tempo. Down and up, down and up. So we've got a little rotation a little scoop happening through that waistline. Keep stepping back into that nice rear lunge. Both knees are bending about 90 degrees. Cross and curl, cross and curl, good. So we're working the upper and the lower body here. Down and up, that's it. Good, down and lift. Here's our last four, three, give me two more, you got it, one more time, excellent. Now bring your feet together, bring your arms up to 90 degrees, just give me a little pulse. Abs are in tight, so your elbows are not going to drop below 90 degrees here. Yeah, so we're starting to really work the front of the shoulders, a little bit of the chest, Nice. Abs are tight to the spine. That narrow stance makes it a little harder to keep your upper body steady. Use those abs to make it happen. Give me eight, six, 
four, three. Now watch me once. We're gonna press one arm up and then come back to that 90 degree angle. Good. Now let's get the core going a little more. We're also gonna work your brain a bit on this one. I want you to reach your opposite knee up as that arm presses. A Little bit of coordination involved here. It's kind of like a climbing exercise. So if your left arm goes up, the right knee lifts and vice versa. Don't lean back. Keep working those arms and shoulders. Draw that knee up with your abs. Lift, lift, that's it. Reach it. Really start to feel that upper body, I know. Eight more. Seven, six, that's it. Five, keep it going. It's four, three, two, and one. Great job, take it down, just walk it out. We're gonna move into the back of your body, coming into a split stance. So I want you to just take one foot forward, the other leg is back. Your back heel is lifted, but your back leg is straight. We're gonna hinge forward from the hips, reaching down to the front leg. Come up with a flat back and press the arms behind your hips. So we're working through the upper back, the backs of the arms, and into that front leg, getting into the hamstring and a little bit of the glutes. This split stance is gonna work that core so that you have to really use your abdominals to help you with your balance here. Take it down, press it back. Use the back of your body to bring yourself up. Press, that's it. Down, press, keep it going. Hinge, keep that spine nice and long. Down, and up, you got it. Four more, squeeze, three more. Squeeze, give me two more. You can do it. Last one. Good, now take it to the center. Just open both knees and toes out. You can adjust your feet if you want. Hips are gonna stay underneath us. We're gonna take a little plie, but we're just coming up a few inches and down a few inches. Let's work the chest. We're gonna keep working that core. All I want you to do is open your arms out in front of you, making a little circle. You're gonna open the arms out as you come down, close as you come up. So notice we're not extending the legs all the way. We come a few inches up and back down. Use those abs, yes, good. Keep it strong, use that chest, nice. Squeeze, good. Hug those arms together, use your chest. Abs are in tight. Good, brace the belly muscles into your spine. Four, three, two. Now hold it down, bring your arms in, give me a little pulse. We're gonna keep the body nice and steady. We're gonna do a little stirring of the pot, taking the arms out and around, out and around. Good, so really getting into that waistline. Make a little circle out in front of the body with those weights. Nice, out and around. Circle it out, good. Let's reverse direction, out and around. Keep that pulse going. Good, keep that spine supported. Abs drawn in tight. Last four, here it is, four, three, two, and one, gorgeous. Now let's bring it up. We're gonna turn to the other side so that we can go back to the back of the body. So now you're facing the other way. We come down, press back. So my back heel is lifted. My back leg is really straight here. So I have to sort of shift my weight forward into that front foot, pressing through the front heel and all five toes firmly into the floor. Inhale, exhale. Now as I'm coming up with my body, I'm not extending that front knee completely straight. I'm gonna reach a little bit lower, bend it a little deeper, and then just come back up slightly into that lunge. Push the weights behind your body. Use the back side nice and strong. Four, and up. Three, and up. Give me two more. Last one. Good. 
Now let's take it to the center, turning the knees and toes out, come back to that little plie pulse. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before, but we're gonna just add a little twist. All I want you to do is aim your palms up to the ceiling, keep the arms the same, it's in and out, in and out. So just notice how that angle switches up that muscle recruitment just a little. Good. Inches again, down, sort of up. Don't go all the way up. Come down, halfway up. Good, we're also working a little bit of that upper back as those arms are opening. Whew. Nice, are you okay? You with me? Hang in there. We're almost there. Strong. Good, reach the arms, don't let them bend. Four more, three more, two more. Good, take it down and pulse. We're gonna stir that pot one more time. Keep the pulse going. Let's circle this way first. Take it out and around, right to left. Right to left. Abdominals are strong. Scoop it out and around. Good. Don't slouch. Good, we have two more this direction. Last one. Reverse it. Left to right, that's it. Stir it out. Good. Keep squeezing it. Three, two, one more guys. Great job, turn your knees and toes forward. Let's roll it up. Just give me a little tap side to side. Awesome work, okay. We're gonna finish up. One more exercise for the back of the body, one more for the abs. So we're gonna take the feet hip distance apart, softening through the knees. We're gonna do a little deadlift and rear fly combo. So you're gonna hinge forward. You're gonna open the arm side. You're gonna come down. You're gonna look up over one shoulder. Down, rear fly, reach low, look over the opposite shoulder. So as you're standing up, there's that little twist for the core. Just keep your arms by your sides. Really make sure that the abs get tighter as you do that rotation. Down, open, down, Look back, good. Hinge forward, squeeze your upper back, reach, flat back up and twist. Down, lift, reach, press through the back of your body, down, squeeze it, take it down and lift. Let's do four more right here, it's down. Lift the arms, don't throw them, reach and squeeze with that twist, good, three, Lift and down over that shoulder. Final two, here we go. Down, up, reach and lift. Last one, hinge it forward. Open it out, bring it down and open. Great job, let's keep working the abs. This is your last movement. We're just gonna take the weights right in front of the shoulders. So I want you to keep them in close to your body so you're wading through the core. Abs are in tight. We're gonna take our weight over into our left leg, tapping that right foot nice and light. So we're gonna take a little cross crunch over and down. Twist into the knee. So the weights are glued right at the front of your shoulders. You're using those abdominals to twist that upper body. Twist it out. Yes. Good, get ready. Switch to the other side. Twist. So make sure you've changed legs. You had to shift your weight into that other leg to stand strong. Weights in front of those shoulders. Exhale and inhale. Good. So feel that waistline drawing in to lift that knee up and across. You got it. Two more. Now shift back to the other side. Tap the foot in front of you this time. And we're just gonna do a little crunch and tap. Woo, had to get my balance. Let's try that again. So we come down and up. So here's a little tip. If you bend your standing knee a little bit, makes this easier. So I'm thinking about rounding my belly into my spine to lift that knee up. Exhale and inhale. Imagine a crunch on the floor, but draw that knee up against gravity. Four three, two, one more, get ready to switch sides, right into the other leg, up and tap, up and tap, 
Good, so this one is so much safer than that machine that you see at the gym where you have to pull the weight over your head and you're in a seated position. Really puts a lot of pressure on the spine. This one really adds the weight closer to your body as if it were a part of your chest. You're just lifting up from here. So it's a little bit more functional, a little bit safer for the spine. Four more. Good, two more. Nice job. Now just take those weights slightly over your head. Hold them there, abs are in tight. All I want you to do is take a little side to side walk. Out and in. Use the core. I'm gonna turn to the side here so that you can see my weights are slightly in front of my body. Yeah. You're just keeping those arms extended straight up. Good. Now, instead of tapping the foot in, see if you can lift out to the sides. So we're just shifting the weight, keeping the arms up, using the core to help us balance to keep those weights above the head. I know it's a challenge. Hang on. Good. Almost there. Come back to the toe tap, in and out, in and out. Good, big side step here. You can make it a little wider. Use those inner and outer thighs. Good. So remember, it doesn't always look like a crunch when you work your abs. You're working them all the time, especially when you're doing weight training. Good, arms up. We're almost there. It's eight, seven, six, five. Oh my goodness, come on. Four more, stretch those arms. Three, last two. Good, one more. Ah, you can take a break. Set your weights down. Great job, everybody. So let's shake out the head, neck, and shoulders. Take your hands behind you. See if you can grab on to either elbow. Just lift your chest. Take a little extension back, lifting the heart to the ceiling. Good. From here, hinge forward from your hips. Let's extend the arms back, clasping the hands together. Stretching the backs of the thighs, the front of the chest, and the shoulders. Soften the knees as much as you need to. Now let's bend the knees, bring the hands on top of the thighs. Inhale, round the back. Exhale, arch and stretch the spine. Do it again, inhale, round. Exhale, arch and stretch. Let's roll all the way up to a standing position. Great work today. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you at our next workout.